Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to unbox and review the Pebble smartwatch. And no, not the original plastic version, the all new Pebble Steel. The post PC smartwatch is shipped in an incredibly high end box that simply has the word Pebble etched into the top. We'll discuss the device more in depth in a second, but for now, using my knife, I'm going to cut the plastic shrink wrap and start the unboxing process. With all of the plastic removed, lifting the lid reveals pebble steel on the top, and for whatever reason, mine was covered in some sort of debris from what I'm assuming is a felt-like material lining the box. Lifting pebble steel out of the box, it's immediately apparent that it's shipped with the less attractive leather band pre-installed. Now it's time to remove the plastic protecting the display, which features Corning Gorilla Glass for extra durability and ruggedness. Pressing any of the four buttons will power on the watch and on its first boot, the display provides a setup URL but really the process just consists of connecting via Bluetooth and opening the Pebble app to enable notifications and update it. Back to the box, the compartment on the right features a product info sheet and a setup guide. Underneath the two is what adds much needed elegance to the watch, a steel band that can be swapped with the leather one provided you have a small enough flathead screwdriver. Underneath the band, the box also houses a single magnetic USB charging cable, a power brick isn't supplied. As for the watch band, you'll likely need to adjust it by removing a few of the links, which is tricky to say the least, especially without proper tools. Most will probably opt to have a professional adjust the band. Unfortunately though, if you're between link sizes, the proprietary band lacks further adjustment options on the clasp, so you'll either have to live with an extremely tight or a somewhat loose pebble steel. As for the layout, the left of the watch features a back button and Pebble's awesome new magnetic charging port that's much improved over the original and actually allows for a strong and firm connection between the watch and the supplied USB cable. On the right, the watch features three navigation buttons and there's a black Bluetooth antenna window surrounding the device's perimeter. Pebble Steel now features easier to press tactile buttons and as I mentioned before, the buttons on the right allow for selecting, which is the middle of the three, as well as moving through menu options using up and down presses with the back button located on the left. The original Pebble is surprisingly thicker and considerably less attractive than the much improved steel, but it still features the same four button layout and has access to the same incredible apps. However, Pebble Steel also has an easier to read display thanks to its new tri-color LED technology. It also looks significantly better on the wrist. Now going more into depth on the software aspect of steel, when at the main screen, the up and down buttons allow for easy swapping of installed watch faces, which I'll get to in a second. The select button allows for users to enter the smartwatch's main menu menu, which features music controls, recent notifications, alarms, settings, followed by user installed apps. For instance, I can now check the battery level of Pebble Steel with this battery life app I installed, and I can even play a basic albeit fun game on the watch. The settings menu is simple and straightforward with a few minor options for date and time notifications and the display, which has an awesome feature that turns the backlight on with a simple wrist flick. As for apps, there are quite a few available in the new Pebble App Store, and I'll detail that after a couple of quick demos. The Hubel app I have installed allows for full control of my Philips Hue smart lights directly from my wrist, so long as the Pebble app is open on my phone in the background. The phone can even be locked, and Pebble Steel can still act as a remote. As for the Smartwatch Plus Jailbreak app I have installed, it allows for more control than the traditional App Store version. Notifications come through in a noticeable manner, accompanied by an unobtrusive vibration alert. Consuming the entire display, recent notifications can be flipped through with simple up and down presses. With the jailbreak edition of Smartwatch Plus installed, it enables the watch to send default messages to recent SMS and iMessages using customizable preset options. And now onto the App Store, which is how you'll obtain both watch faces and apps. The Pebble app for iOS itself is extremely clean and features three basic portions one to manage Pebble and the other two to obtain watch faces and apps. Like the iOS App Store, Pebble apps are split into categories and can be sorted by what Pebble calls quote, most loved apps. Installing an app is simple, just tap add, and if it has available room, it will auto install to the smartwatch. Inside the My Pebble menu, there are two sections. The top displays what's currently installed. The watch itself is limited to a combination of eight different watch faces and apps at any given 
given time, and the bottom is the App Locker, which stores unused apps and watch faces that can be loaded or unloaded at a moment's notice. Another cool thing about the Pebble Steel is that it's completely waterproof up to 5 ATM, which stands for atmospheres, and is the equivalent of 50 meters or about 165 feet. So in summary, the Pebble Steel smartwatch is the perfect companion for iOS and Android devices. It displays all enabled notifications on a smartphone or tablet that it's connected to, allowing for obnoxious notification alerts to be disabled entirely. And for $249, $100 more than the all-plastic original Pebble, the Pebble Steel is an incredible upgrade, largely in part because of its sleek and timeless design. It's the one smartwatch that actually looks like a watch and less like a cheap, inferior, generic plastic watch that you can pick up at a drugstore for $10. And now, with the recent addition of the Pebble App Store, the smartwatch is capable of a wide range of functions such as controlling a smart TV, Philips Hue light bulbs, the Nest thermostat, and so much more. Aside from my iPhone, my Pebble Steel is quickly becoming one of my favorite useful portable tech devices. And that pretty much concludes this unboxing and review video of the Pebble Steel smartwatch. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to enter my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Simply rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once it's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.